It's finals time. Here the ultimate kickoff in Madden 23. Let's take a look at our tale of the tape. Ty was crazy about this one. Noah is about the only person out there that can match up with Henry's tail of tape, and yet Henry has still earned over $200,000 more than Noah. This is as even of a battle as Henry's going to ever have. Yeah, the greatest run in Madden history from Henry. Over 500,000 now eclipsed against probably the second greatest run in the last few years. Noah, the two top guys in the sport, in the game, going head to head for all the marbles, and it starts right now. 818 versus TGL for the first belt in Madden 23. Let's kick this one off. It's a beautiful day to give out some hardware. Henry takes on Noah as we welcome in everybody who's watching on Twitch, on YouTube, and over on the BR Gaming channel. We are so happy to have you guys with us. It will be Henry starting off with the ball first in this championship game of the ultimate kickoff 23. Getting to know Henry a little better. If you, for some reason, you maybe were watching something else during this last 10 minutes. He's always done his one three three uh, belts, two individual belts, a team belt, 11 straight MCS major. He's now topped $500,000 in career earnings. He's only 19 years old, Tyler Davis. Yeah, well, I mean, do I even have to say anything? Just look at the screen. If you've been watching Madden for the last two years, it's been dominated by this guy. And he's only 19 years old, and he's arguably the greatest ever already. Just insane. I don't even need to say much. 500,000, 82% wins percentage i mean three belts overall looking for his fourth overall belt third individual 11 straight majors he's never missed one and he's got a chance at history right here ty you ready to give out another belt inside campbell's chunky stadium oh, it doesn't get better than this i got goosebumps if you guys are if you guys play madden if you're fans of competitive madden this is why we watch right here chat i need to know Give me a one in the chat if you're rocking with Henry. Give me a two if you're rocking with Noah. Let's go. Start things off on the ground. It is Joe Mixon with the carry for Henry's offense. He will pick up nothing as Noah's defense stands tall. I mean, I don't know. We could have probably sat there with an hour pregame on this one. I know nobody out there wanted it. Everybody just wants to get to the game. But, Ty, we could have literally talked for an hour on the amount of storylines and the amount of history in this game. This is what we dreamed of, too. You know, obviously, we didn't want to look too far ahead of ourselves, uh, right, going into this matchup. But, man, you know, this is what we wanted. The one versus two going at it, and here they are. Henry, of course, rocking this gun bunch. This is a big storyline for me here, too, because, you know, Henry, and we see a big sack from Noah. Henry struggled in his first game against Jack Oregon on offense, but then looked really good in his second game on offense. So how does he look here? Because you know Noah, he's going to send pressure from this dollar defense. He did that versus Gucci. He's going to do it here, and already a difficult second and 13 for King Henry. Second and 13, Henry, quick throw over the middle. There's Justin Jefferson. He had a couple big catches for Henry in this tournament. Sets up a third and short. Yeah, nice little dot right there. That's the way you want to attack this heavy dollar blitz. In the seams like that, little quick drags, little quick slants. Nice dialed up dot right there. Make it a manageable third and two. Third and about two and a half. Out of the tight slots is Henry, Aaron Rodgers, stepping right, looking right. It's Tony G. Did he get him inbounds? Yes, indeed. How about Henry throwing to the man that handed him his belt at the Madden Bowl? That's got to feel good. A little on-the-run throw, too. You know, we haven't seen too many guys, you know, roll outside the pocket and throw on the run, but Henry, Henry dials it up, streak with the corner route, brings back the zones. Nice dot to the sideline. Already down inside the 30-yard line. He's where the 237 marking counting. Rogers stepping up into pressure. And down goes A Rod. Who else? Warren Sapp in the backfield. Yeah, that defensive line for Noah has been insane. We talked about Sam Adams a good bit. Also has Warren Sapp on there. Lawrence Taylor, just goons. They really eat up the pocket, too, if you know, because he sends the pressure on the outside. You have to step up. When you step up, they pretty much eat, the, eat up that inside of the pocket. Second and 15, looking right side. Oh, the wheel route was open, but he just missed the outstretched hands as Henry will face a third and long. And one thing to monitor, too, from both these guys, they both have that under-pressure ability on the defensive line, and, and it's paid dividends in this whole tournament run for both of these guys. So will that influence either of these guys? It looked like it just did their overthrow from Aaron Rodgers for Henry's offense. 
Chad, I got to know now while it's still 0 0. Who you got winning this game? Give me a 1 for Henry. Give me a 2 for Noah. I know. So who's taking home know. this game? How about Noah's defense stepping up, forcing a fourth and long, and it should force a field goal from Henry. Yeah, great defense right uh, there. Noah sticks to the uh, same game plan. Go Send the, the pressure off that edge <laughs> out of spinner Actually, just and just adjust kick. his secondary. Come on, Lester A's. Give me a block kick. Oh my god. Did oh, he, he missed? He missed it short. Let's go. He missed it short. Okay. I was wondering, I looked at that kick meter, meter, TD, and I went, does this have enough? It was short by five yards. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. I don't think I've ever seen that in a game like this. Oh, uh, that was bad. That was go get seven, Noah. Go get seven, man. Come on. Uh, let's get to know Noah off of that bizarre play, the two-time champion, winning back in men 20 at the Challenge of 22 last year at the Thanksgiving. He's the youngest MCS major champion of all time. He has eight major appearances, and he's only 20 years old representing West Virginia University out of Morgantown. Noah up next. Uh, he's going to have to change his name soon, Ty, because he is no longer up next. He's up right now. Oh, he's been up now. And, we'll and, you know, scholarship now. at West Virginia University, eSports scholarship, awesome to see. We're going to have to eventually get a replay yeah, no. of that missed field goal, though, from Henry, because I haven't seen a kick that short on a field goal ever in a game like this. Just insane. But let's see if Noah can take advantage. Goes to the I-form wing early. I need I need an expert in here. Back let's side, bring in one great user. User, oh God, um, what here. happened there? Do you, anything? Listen, I don't know what happened. Maybe Superman got a chink in his armor. I don't know. I, I mean, you're just, you're just thinking he's from the 34. That's easy cash money with Tucker. I don't know why he kicked this short. All I can think of jitters i mean you're playing against a guy that you know you got to play your best game you're settling for three and everyone knows you got to get seven on your opening drive versus noah because that pressure him playing behind it makes him get try to get him out of his play style running the ball uh oh better you, you see noah right here in a great position because he's just going to run the ball he feels great henry even though he was settling for three I know he was not happy with even taking three because Noah, Noah wasn't bothered by that three. Seven puts pressure on Noah, but for him to miss that kick, that's unacceptable in a game with this magnitude. 100%. And, guys, look at this, too. You see, you know, Henry's been running dollar, nickel 3-3. He's in the nickel over here, you know, trying to combat this uh, high-powered run attack from Noah. So a lot of strategical decisions going on in this game. There. Back to bed is he's got green grass right side. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Noah's on the board first in this game for history. The first strike landed by Noah up next. Come on, man. He's nervous, bro. He's nervous. He goes man, to a book. That is a I, I feel nasty, under man. I just feel it. I got three of them. To come I, out I there and run game. the counter. I need a, I need Henry knows that he's going to try to run the ball, but you still have to respect the pass formation because it's Ottoman and Tripp's tight end. That's the game about that's the thing about Noah's game. He can still pass the ball, even though he doesn't do it a lot. He, he can do it. And so you have to respect those formations. He goes to the trip tight end, runs the counter, and here's Bettis right here going to the house. Ty, that counter play is kind of has, has a, a complicated history, but Noah was able to hit a home run with it. But I like it, too. You know, you saw, if you saw, Henry's defense was pretty strong to the left side, right, running that nickel over. And he actually ran the counter to the right side where there was not a lot of defenders. And that's what Noah does. He's trying to find some type of run that you are not prepared for or that the defense can't account for. And Noah does it and takes advantage. He's on the loose. and He's up a stop, looking great here early in this championship game. We'll go to the second quarter. What a uh, an interesting first quarter it was indeed. 7-0 Noah with the lead. Henry with the ball. The 31-yard line facing a second and four. He'll come out in the bunch formation. Gonzalez, Reed, and Moss to the right side. Justin Jefferson alone on the left side. Now Reed in motions from right to left. Joe Mixon in the backfield. As he steps up with Rodgers, he's got the C route out. open, but he's looking down the he's scene. Out. He wants more. He's got Reed to the 16-yard line. Yeah, he had both of them. He had the C route, had the streak with a couple steps. Free form, too. Nice pass lead up the field with that skill base passing. And now he's cooking with sauce at the 16 yard line. Look at the left side. Can't complete that one. I think that might also be the most time we've seen. And one thing about, I just, you watch a lot of his games, Ty. 
Henry's pocket presence, I think, is one of the biggest difference oh, yeah. makers. Because uh, it just no, seems like he finds the right time to step forward. That's going to be a legal touch. That's going to be no good. But he just steps up in the pocket at the right time, avoids the pressure, and just buys himself an extra half second. Yeah, and, you know, that's the thing with Henry. You know, most of these guys out here are one-dimensional. Even Noah, he's more of a defensive player. But to be honest, Henry don't have a lot of weaknesses, right? He's he's obviously, like, maybe the best defensive player. But he's really underrated on offense, too. Has great route combos, great pocket presence, like you alluded to. Perfect defense. Lots of time. Wow. Left side. Noah says perfect yeah. defense. And Henry oh says God, not so crazy. fast, my friend. Henry's on the board. Wait, wh hold on a second, yeah. though. We need to get a replay of that because what? No, if Noah would have clicked on, I think that would have been a pick. I don't know if he got clicked oh, on to the that, wrong guy, that, but that. if you see the defender underneath the receiver, if he would have clicked yeah, on, that, that could have been a pick. But it wasn't. Henry takes advantage. Once again, that zero uh, side uh, pylon touchdown. Great response. This battle might be taking place on Mount Olympus because this is the battle of the gods right now. 7-7. Seven, seven. Here's the big play that set it up right up the seam to Reed. But Ty, take a look at this touchdown pass. Yeah, look at the defender under there, though. If he clicks on to 37, uh, that might be a pick. It was a little bit of a late read, but nonetheless, Henry takes advantage, and we got a tie ball game. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure he could have got there. I think, I think that one, yeah, that one was close. just as hot of a dot uh, as you can get. Bringing Clef to God. Clef, this game has everything you want. It has been an awesome start to a championship game. And it's just living up to the hype. Every game we done had has lived up to the hype. We ain't got no disappointments. That dot right there, that's what I like to call one of them dots that's harder, that's harder than morning breath. And we know how hot morning breath is. We know it's hot. That, that's fish grease hot. That's desert hot. That's just a crazy dot right there. To me, that is the biggest player of the game so far because if he get three right there, Noah's still in the driver's seat. The thing about Noah, you got to get him out of his comfort zone. You have to. If he in his comfort zone, it, it's almost impossible to beat him with the way he just controlled his clock. And you see him doing what he do right now. Right now, he's just trying to find that run versus nickel over defense. Second and nine. Back to the ground game. Oh, Bettis, oh. get off me. He's going to still lose three, though. I mean, it was cool. He still lost three. And this is pretty good run defense. And the thing I like, too, is, you know, Henry, this is what he faced against Jack Oregon. He faced this nickel over, bring the safety down in the box. And he struggled versus it. And he's bringing it out of the, out of the box here against Noah. And it's looking good versus the run. Third and 12, Noah in an un in unfamiliar position. Hasn't had a whole lot of third and long. And Henry's defense locks up. It looks like Noah's going to be forced to bring the punt unit out. Or is he going to bring it? No, he's, he's, he's definitely not crazy enough to go for this one. It's Madden 22, not Madden. Damn, or it's Madden 23, not Madden 21. Uh, he'll punt this one away and tie uh, that weird missed field goal from Henry. He's going to get one back here and be able to get back on the clock. Yeah, you know, that could, that could come back to haunt you, but he gets the defensive right. stop, goes to that nickel over defense, and he's looking really good against the run with it. Maybe Noah will eventually go back to the counter, but looking really good there. Now we'll see Henry back in that gun bunch offense. Remember guys, both these guys have secured at least $25,000 already. And the winner of this is gonna get a cool $50,000. And the other thing too to point out, 1,500 MCS points for the winner. So you basically virtually secure yeah, you yourself do. a spot. It's in not Madden virtual, Bowl. you do. Yeah, you, exactly. You, you do secure yourself in a spot. Even, even making it to this far, the finals, the loser that's probably gonna be in the Madden Bowl as well. I saw how big the Madden Bowl was last year. Henry knows a little something about that Madden Bowl prize. You're defending Madden Bowl champion. He's won the last two belts. He's looking for number three. Stepping up with Rodgers and dumping off underneath to Joe Mixon. He fights through one tackle but can't fight through the second. It'll be a third and short. Well, Noah just continues to send this heat here as to go to the two-minute warning. But it's every play. It's Noah sending those that edge pressure from those slot defensive backs in the Dollar formation. Each player has one stop. Each player has one touchdown. Seven is up. It's Tony Gonzalez motions from right to left. Roger steps up, and he finds Tony Gonzalez underneath. Who makes the man miss? Is inside midfield. Will not take a hit. Not going to risk anything going wrong there. He's inside the 50 to 48-yard line with under a buck 40 to go. Love the adjustment right there from Henry. Motion over that tight end. Just allows a little bit more spacing between your routes. 
able to check it down to the underneath drag. Uh, love the love the play call though. Switch it up a little bit on Noah. Try to get something different against these uh, blitzing slot DBs. It's bringing Clef the God. Clef minute fourteen and counting this. This half, okay, oh who's going to have the advantage man, to start the, the second ball. half? I have no idea. Bro, please pick off the ball. It man. all depends on this Thank drive you. right here. If you know it, you want to get him off the field as quick as possible. Henry to me right here, he needs to be aggressive. You got to know your opponent, who you're playing against. You get seven right here, you're going to force him to play differently. If you get three, he's going to come out and do the same thing he's been doing. For Henry right here, I need to get seven. I don't need to run the ball. I don't need to worry about milking the clock. I need to just go get seven. Uh, he's going to go right up the seam to Tony G. One of those KOs knocking that one out. Fourth and eight for Henry at the 45-yard line decision time. Yeah, and that was a good dot, too. You know, right in the seam of that zone defense. Tried to highball it, but got that KO ability, of course, on defense to knock it out. And it's a huge play in the game, guys. Fourth down and eight. Henry trying to keep momentum going. He'll split Jefferson off the bunch. Bunch to the short side. Randy Moss alone to the right side. Four-man rush, stepping up as Rogers, and he finds Randy ah! Moss for the first down. Clutch it up. Oh, Nick, you talked about the pocket presence. That was as clean as a, and as cool as I can remember. Steps up in the pocket, throws a beam on the crosser right behind, in front of the user. Beautifully done. Hey, if you don't have that Randy Moss, go ahead and, and cop that one. As there's oh, the counter once again. Joey Mix, the 16-yard line. We're under 30 ticks to go. Rogers stepping left. Throwing back over the middle. He's got Mixon waiting in the soft spot of the zone. He'll fight through a couple tackles. Getting near a first down. 19 seconds left, and Henry will finally use a timeout. Yeah, this drive is just beautifully executed right now by Henry, using the clock perfectly. Basically going to give Noah no time to get the ball back. Still has two timeouts and plenty of options, right? You can pass, you can run, you can do the whole playbook's open in this situation. Second and short, but more importantly, six yards away from the end zone. Waller motions over to the right side. Six man rush picked up by the O line. He's looking oh, for Moss back pick, corner of the end zone, but great break up there by the defense of Noah. And you see Noah actually got stuck on his cornerback all the way on the left side. So it, just Henry didn't have the right route combinations. But if he would have had anything coming open over the middle, there was no user there. He could have took advantage. Third and short, 14 seconds remain in the first half. A quick half, a chess match indeed. Oh, every... Was that a run commit? Did we so. get a run commit there? And Henry said, no problem. He'll find Justin Jefferson to take the lead before half. Yeah, Noah really took a gamble right there. Thought it was going to be a run. Henry takes advantage. Everything was open. Back of the end zone. Oh, boom. Commit. All the momentum right now in Henry's favor. The calculated gamble doesn't pay off. Just like that. Henry is the 14-7 lead. 10 seconds left. In the first half, take a look one more time at the play that set this all up. Fourth and eight, and how about Henry clutching up, and then everybody and their mother sent in the backfield. They were about, you could hit any button on the controller there, TD, and you would have had a touchdown. <laughs> yeah, and the running back and that receiver almost ran into each other, too, because everything was just so open. There was no defenders in the area. And looks like we're going to go, no, we're going to have one more timeout. Remember, Noah does get the ball to start the second half. And just think about it, guys. If Henry wouldn't have missed that field goal, I mean, he's up two possessions going into half. So that was that was pretty big. Obviously, Noah going to get the ball to start the second half. Plenty of time and life and everything left in this game where we don't really know who's going to win. But Henry's looking good so far. Now, this is there's, there's so much time. By the way, don't forget, one of the other things we haven't mentioned about this game, how about the path that but Noah has like had to get here? Like uh, going, if he wins this game, he will go through both Henry and Drini. That's four belts between those two that he will have to defeat to get his third. That's a, an absolute demonic path. There's a handoff to Bettis on third and six. Zero's on the clock, and that'll take us to halftime. 14 to seven. Cross. You scored the half, and it will be uh, a, I mean, it's gonna be a second half to remember, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -mm. It's gonna be uh, Henry kicking the ball off. Right. Noah down by seven, but getting the ball tied. Not a bad position to be in. No, not at all. He's in a great position, but we talked about in the pregame how the pace and the, and the stuff would go. It kind of has gone into Henry's lap with being at more a high-paced 
uh, you know, faster paced game. I'm a little surprised. I thought it'd be a little more sluggish, but the momentum is in Henry's hands. But Noah, gonna get the ball to start the second half. Plenty of John Madden football left. 14 to 7. Your score in the battle of Goliath versus Goliath to crown a champion here in the ultimate kickoff 23. TD, massive drive coming up. Noah down seven with ball. Yeah, yeah. Really exciting to see what happens here. This game, like I said, has really fit the pace that Henry wants to fit, right? A little bit high, uh, you know, faster pace. And Noah needs to slow it down a little bit. But like you said, this is a massive drive here. Other thing to point out. Noah doesn't have any passing completions yet. He's pretty much run the ball every single play. Does he eventually go to the air at some point? Not him this play. He's going to hand it off to Jerome Bettis right side. He'll get two on the ground and keep this game plan going for Noah. Interesting thing about this, by the way, talk about how good Noah is running the ball, Ty. It, Madden 23 has not been a friendly game to runners. I would not say it's a bad game to be a runner, but he is making it good. No, he is. I think there is the ability to run the ball in this game a little bit. Obviously, Noah wants to do that. But, man, Henry's nickel overrun defense is just on point. Every time that Noah goes to this I form or strong close, he cannot run the ball. The only success he's had is out of the counters and a little bit of the inside zones from shotgun. So, I think eventually here, it looks like Noah's going to finally go to the air. Third and 11. Noah trying to keep this first drive of the second half alive. Josh on, Allen back. Pass has man open. Get That's Justin there, Jefferson in open there, space. Can LeJarrius Sneed run him do down? Jet into the 30. Jet into the 20. Jet into the 10. Jet off to the end zone. He's Big score for Noah to kick off the second half. Playing offense, but you know he's just going to win the game. I don't know how, but you're going to win the game. I do not know how, but you're going to win the game. Come on. Come on, man. Let's go. The kid just knows how to respond. He knows how to fight. Horrible route combination. It's basically three on, slants. He food. uses a motion oh, blocker. Food. I got 300 and his pressures. First on that fourth down. You gotta light up. Pass of the game is a touchdown. Lucky, just, it's the ugliest stuff time. you'll ever see. But he just Damn. knows how to win. Damn. I can't even explain it. Look at this. Three slants and one and one just wide open. He takes it to the crib. 14s of pace. We're in a tie game in a belt game with the number one and two player in the world. We need all hands on deck. Clef user, get in here, gentlemen, because what a start to the second half, user. A big play from Noah. I mean, listen, Noah knows his game. He knows his game well. This is an instant classic, haymaker after haymaker. You get the third down. We've been saying, how, hey, man, threat detector isn't any use. But when you're playing against a guy like Henry, you kind of love that little extra incentive. Like, okay, I know he's not getting funky with his defense, making all these drop back adjustments like he normally would do on third down. You would normally expect him to zone out right there. But now he decided to send the heat. Noah, just with a simple passing concept, double slants, we've seen people like 49 and do this and you be like hey how did this get open but something simple and basic when you can tell the defense is sending all their linebackers with that ability oh, get on. threat detector oh, get on. it opened up for a big play for Noah to tie this ball game up yeah and I think we'll go back on that and if Noah can can win this game that, that'll be the biggest play of the game right there I mean that's the best response you can ask for what did we say at halftime we said he needed to score what else did we say he needed to score quick he scored quick and he's got seven. Now he's in a perfect position right here. Get a stop and just change the whole game with one simple play. Second and 14. After the defensive sack from Noah. Three-man rush, stepping up his rocks. He might have the seam. He, he on, might baby. have him. to be. Oh, I can't hang on to that one. Good defense from Noah. You saw the KO lighting up. There's the knockout ability. You need him on your defense, but this is just back and forth. And, you know, the main reason these two guys are here is because of their adjustments and how they just adapt throughout the game. These two are the absolute best at it, and it's just blow for blow, right? Henry adjusts, then Noah adjusts. He finds a, a simple play that beats the, the defense that Henry wants to blitz out of, just back and Come forth, on, adjustment ball, after adjustment. Please, oh my. please pick off the ball. Go for this. Please, please go for this. Henry with that. Well, right he's saving again. Had the wheel route. If this was Madden 22, press that's an easy no, 15 yards. In Madden plays. 23, I don't know how, but you're going to make plays. Bro. Misses make it, plays. and Henry's going to have to lock up defensively. I just clock all this and, eight and minutes. And to don't me right here, Nick, you almost go for this knowing who clock you're playing minutes, against. Don't you don't want to get clocked right here. I'd much rather know I'm going to get this ball back. I would be tempted to go for it, just so I know I'm going to give myself I mean, a chance. You know you're playing against. You know he's really good. He's probably the best we got in the game at clock management. 
I, yeah, I I hear that, Clef, but I also look at the other point. He Henry's playing really good defense. I mean, he's got the run pretty much bagged. It's been two big plays. It's it was the counter run and then the one slant play, his first pass. I don't know. I feel like in this type of game, you punt it, you get back on defense, because you're playing pretty good defense overall. You are, but this is what Noah likes. It, it always looked ugly like this, and somehow he found a way, especially late in the game, where he just pulls there, off a great drive. Oh my God, hold that block, buddy, and we're out of there. And this is what he want right here. He don't want big plays. He want eight yards here, four yards there, five yards here. He just want that clock to keep moving and just keep getting consecutive first downs. 14 apiece in our championship game here, the ultimate kickoff 23. A reminder, if you're just joining us, both these players have two individual belts. They're looking to become only the second player all time to have three individual belts to their name. Henry is the back-to-back -back belt winner. He's looking for his third straight belt in MCS competition and looking to keep the Henry Slam alive for Noah. He won a belt in Madden 20, won a belt in Madden 22. He's looking to win a belt here in Madden 23. The storylines are bonkers here, and we are so glad you're along with us. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis, one great user, Clef the God, taking you through this championship game. Third and short for Noah. Under a minute and a half to go in the third quarter. He's going to run that stretch left side. A little power O action, actually, it looked like. And Bettis picks up just enough to get the first down. And Noah, he's just a wild man, right? He's not even coming out in gun tight anymore. He's just coming out in straight I form wing, I form twin tight end, 1970s power football, just ramming it against the defense, taking what it gives them and using this clock. Trips tight end for Noah. Rocking Josh Allen at quarterback, the only non Aaron Rodgers quarterback out there right now. He'll hand it to Ben. Some room Ooh, on that on 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 left on side on and on broke on a tackle the and got to the 49. Score. It's going to be second and short. And you heard Noah say, there's the tackle battle. Obviously, a new feature added to Madden 23. You smash that A button to try to get out of the tackle. And when you got Jerome Bettis, he's a beast at that. Definitely the best running back in the game. Noah using him to its full abilities. And a very manageable second and one now. This will be the last play of the third quarter. Hunter Henry motions from right to left. I form Bettis at the top of the eye. Let me hand off oh, right side. Oh, Bettis just picks up. The first down, and Noah should take this all the way down to the fourth quarter. I, ladies and gentlemen, if you're out there on Twitch, if you're watching on the EA Madden YouTube, if you're watching on BR Gaming, wherever you are, put your fours in the chat, put your fours in the air, write a four on your dry erase board behind you. This is the biggest fourth quarter in Madden history. We're all tied up, five minutes away from crowning a three-time champ. Five minutes this to go. This is why I said right here that History. I would probably try to go for this. Because if you look at this situation, this is not a hard situation to clock out right here, especially the way he's been moving the ball. We've seen all tournament him go on these five-minute drives. He can easily clock this out and, and take three. And it's always no way. End of the game, he just find a way to put drives together. You also don't see, uh, user, you don't see from Henry any panic from him. He always seems to be, when, even when the game's not going his way, he is in this game and thinking about how he can get the next play to go his way. Because he's been here and done that, you know? And he's been here and done that not only versus this guy, Noah. So he's been in this situation. He knows his opponent well. He's not going to get flustered. He knows commit to the run. Commit run to the over, run. Guys. We have run to stop over, the run baby. first. Look at this. This is just a nasty uh, offense that Noah puts together. I'm telling you, he gives you a full tour of whatever offense he's in. He, you have to respect every run. And it's so hard because you can't lab against a guy like Noah. Like, you might play one guy like, yeah, he got good run stick. But Noah is a guy, he runs everything that you don't even think. You done lab this, you done lab base, you done lab the counter. Well, have you lab counter out of trips tight end? Okay, have you labbed it out of jumbo wing? Noah runs every run in the book, so you have to respect this game. Yeah, 17 rushes for 111 yards. At some point, guys, if I'm Henry, I'm putting both my safeties in spies. I'm bringing them down the box. I'm just going to sell out. Because at this point, even if he gets a touchdown, I get the ball back. Like, this is just insane right now, the way he's running the ball. In Madden 23, like, who would have thought this? Trips over to the left side. 3.30 and counting. Back to that counter run, and great defense Tackles. there from Henry. Finally got in the backfield. This user, this is where Henry needs to get to. Third and long for Noah. Has to get him off the field right here. 
And once again, he's going back to the same thing that got him cooked last time. Noah can see that those linebackers are blitzing. I wonder if Henry's going to mix it up, try to, you know, drop some guys back in coverage and bluff blitz. We'll see. Screaming at him. There goes Josh Allen. Takes the a hit, and Henry gets a stop. Fourth and eight at the 30-yard oh, line. And Noah will kick the 47-yard field goal. He'll run this clock all the way down. <sighs> Tyler Davis, what are your two favorite words? Guap drive, baby. Let's go. And by the way, gentlemen, as that kick is up, it's good. How big is that unexcusable, oh, that inexcusable yes. missed field goal by Henry coming up right now? Yes. Massive. It's big. It's big. And if he want to be great, he's going to have to make up for it. He's going to have to go down here and show us why he deserves to be the back-to-back -back champion right here on third and 11. Listen, no fumble. Lucky that uh, Josh Allen did not fumble that ball right there. Getting held to three. He understands what he, he's up against. Henry already got one stop. This second half, he needs to put this offense together. Here we go. Oh, that was a uh, – there were a lot of receivers running in the same area. He finds Andre Reed, 220 and counting. Henry's picked up a first down. Yeah, and if I'm Noah here, I might have to switch it up because Henry has figured out what, what he wants to do out of this out of this DB fire blitz. The seams are wide open. Henry just sitting in there throwing lasers. Got to try to switch it up if you're Noah. And there we hit the two-minute warning. Two minutes Flip, away, feel, gentlemen, from a belt. I, I feel like the windows are tight. Like, yes, Noah, the, the seams have been open. But the windows have been tight. He's mm -hmm. been having to throw high balls versus user. He's been trying to still run the ball to keep Noah balanced to not fully commit to the pass. I feel like the windows have been tight and Noah's playing phenomenal defense. Yeah, and they all been hot recently. That's the scariest thing in Madden. When you're playing somebody like Noah, consistently sending five and then just lurking across the whole middle. So the windows are tight and they're quick decisions. Anything can happen. Throws out to the flat. Nice throw to mix it. He's That's inside crazy the <laughs> to the 34-yard line. Oh, Nasty. 11, Mr. 500K is 34 yards away from the lead. Nasty stick work. And, guys, doesn't this a little bit resemble Henry's money drive versus Wesley at the end of the Madden Bowl? I'm just saying. Just an imp impeccable pocket right there. Just stepping up. So many guys would have easily just started trying to sprint down the field and slide with Aaron Rodgers. Henry right there being patient, taking the user off the running back, still throwing it. Even with the new free form passing, just great pocket. He had a touch and I like what Henry doing here, just snapping the ball fast, not being too, <clears throat> not being too conservative, not just conceding, hey, let's go to overtime. No, he's trying to win this game. Timeout taken by Noah. He's got two remaining. Third and seven for Henry from the 31-yard line. Rodgers back to pass. Only a three-man rush this time. Looking left side. Oh, he's got Jefferson. Go. That's a bean. one-yard for eight one eight Henry. <laughs> Laser, Randy Moss to the pylon, and Noah is in deep, deep trouble. Justin Jefferson, excuse me. I mean, he's in a great position right here. QB sneak, make Noah burn his timeouts. If you look like Noah's just going to let him score, he's saying, hey, man, go ahead and sneak it on in there. End zone, touchdown. Henry takes the lead. 44 seconds remain. Two timeouts for Noah, but what a drive from Henry Leverett. The King looking to continue his historic run, and I think this does play, though, into Henry's hands. Noah doesn't want to be in this situation. 44 seconds, two timeouts. He's not a passer. This is very interesting. Great drive from Henry. What a response. And, and Henry being the student that he is, I guarantee you we won't see any pass in this right yep. here. He's going to play that run. He's going to make, if Noah beat him right here, it's going to be in the air. He's not going to give him free yards and, and get gashed. This is just a late. That's crazy free form right there. That's just, that's free form, crazy patience, and, and great pocket. And Noah was just in this situation with Dreamy. Down four. You're going to wonder what notes was taken away between that Dreamy and Noah game. You're going to see it right here come into play. Dangerous. Oh. Ooh, that was yeah. risky finding Donald Parham, and he has to use his second timeout under 40 seconds. Remain in this championship game. And you guys like that uh, Henry's just sending the goons out of this nickel over? I it's like it. I like it because I think I think with Drini, he might have got two 
lackadaisical. He was playing great defense and then start dropping coverage. I like this. Oh, oh, oh! This is open down to the 40 yard line. To the 37 goes Noah. No timeouts left, but he is 37s away from 37 yards away from history. And guys, he caught Henry lacking. That he was this defense wasn't set up. He was mid audible. He had everything open. The left seam was open and the wheel route. Looks like he's gonna go right back to the same play, maybe. Hit it right on the head. Ty quick snapped him. Henry was not ready. He'll flip to bunch now. This is nasty awkward game. Pressure. Pressure. And he has to throw this one away. We're under 30 seconds to go, gentlemen. How good is this game? This is insane. This is it's crazy. I mean, this is what you expect when you have the best of the best plan. And this is what we mean by Noah. Look, has not looked his best on offense all game. Needed the money drive, and he's starting it right now. And the thing is, too, both these guys, these are the two clutchest guys. Something has to give. Look at right side. He's got Moss to the 15, out of bounds at the 11 oh, yard gosh. line. Randy oh, Moss with a big play for Noah. The palms are sweaty here in the ultimate kickoff championship game. This has the potential to be the greatest madness drive we've ever seen. With everything that's at stake. Pressure. Oh! Oh! That oh, oh, man. Oh, oh, man. oh! 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 Guys, and Henry sent the left side corner right there because he because the receiver was blocking. Almost got the D-line pick. Oh, what a chess match. Uh, the, the previous play, Noah goes out of bounds too. Great IQ there. Henry sends the goons. So much drama. Can't get tackled in bounds, can't take a sack. Middle, 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 middle. No timeouts for Noah, 21-17. Allen back to pass for Noah, stepping up in the pocket, and he'll throw this one away, third down. <laughs> we don't deserve this. We do not deserve this. We don't deserve this. This should be sub only check. Pay-per-view. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is what you want. This is what you want. Fifteen seconds remain. Third and ten. Pressure over the middle. It's complete. Let's go, let's Jefferson. Let's go, let's go. Nine seconds. Nine seconds. Can't spike it. Oh, oh baby. Hey, I'm sorry. Oh, to the, the, the last know, second at the one. To the last second at the one. words, right? You know. You know they pop. They pop your boys' pockets a little bit. You know I got fined a little bit. So we we gonna keep it curved. We gonna sit in our chair, put our back against it. Radical dude. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep it real Three. simple, man. <laughs> Radical, man. Three in a row, man. Radical, man. That, man, that's, that's extraordinary, dude. Belts. Let's go. Come on. In 1547, Henry VIII died. In 2022, Henry IX was born. Three straight belts for Henry Leverett. The Henry Slam will live to the ultimate Thanksgiving. Henry is your ultimate kickoff champion. Tyler Two. Davis, what a finish to this game. Unbelievable. Two yards, and Henry makes the tackle. The King continues the most historic run we've ever seen in the history of competitive Madden, and the 3 Pete is complete.